Okay, so we have officially hit the road. This is gonna be vlog number one. I'm gonna vlog this entire trip. We're heading to the Haterade Hills. We're hunting north central Missouri. There's some monster bucks in this area. We have about a three hour drive until we make it to camp. Um, it's been a long trip. So we just got back from Italy last night. We have not slept much, but uh, that's okay because we're heading to camp with the boys and hopefully we drop one of these big Midwest bucks. So we're gonna be hunting one day of bow now because we got a little late jump on the day. We had to do some packing up. We just got back from Italy, like I said before, so it's been kind of hectic. Me and Taylor got married. Then we went on our honeymoon to Europe. And now we're chasing big old bucks uh, in the Midwest. So, we'll meet up with the, the boys, Andrew Connors, Andrew Yonker. These guys are some killers. They're gonna be heading into camp tomorrow. Me, Josh, and the two Andrews are gonna be uh, firing away this weekend. But me and Josh are gonna get after it today and tomorrow. So hopefully I can make it for an evening hunt. If not, it's fine. We're getting a crazy cold snap. This cold snap is supposed to be pretty frigid. Some of the coldest weather we've been in this year. So looking forward to that. I think the deer are really gonna be moving. Um, you know, it's 70 down there today and then tonight it's dropping down to the 40s and then tomorrow into the teens. So it's gonna be one of those those ruddy weekends where once that cold weather snaps in, hopefully it gets the bucks up on their feet, chasing some of these does. Me and Josh were lucky enough to kill pretty, pretty nice bucks last year. So hopefully we get to pick those up from the taxidermist and um, we just keep chugging along this, this week and make it happen again. So as you can see right out the window here, We are not in Italy anymore, which is okay because now we're in big buck country, the heartland, so let's get it. So my idea with this vlog is to kind of show you what non-professional hunters kind of do and how it works. I mean, you know, we have four guys with Stricken Outdoors and we're pretty busy guys. So with Josh playing baseball, both of the Andrews working, me being on the military side of things, pretty busy so when we get together you know with the boys and you know in an area like this we just try to make it happen you know we have about three to four days where it's a very small window of time and so there's a little bit of luck involved and we're just looking forward to just making more memories with each other and just documenting it all right a little update we're now one mile away from camp we are gonna be able to get an evening sit-in so we're gonna literally hop out of the truck, spray down, change over, and just sprint down with the Baku e-bikes down to the spot that actually killed the buck last year. Three miles ago, we just saw a monster stand in the middle of this field looking for does. So that's a great sign. We're about to pull up to camp, pull our bow out, fling a couple down range, and get into the stand. Um, that kind of fired me up because it started to pour down rain pretty bad and I was like, well, I don't know, maybe we'll just sit it out. But after seeing that buck standing in that field, uh, fired me up, so it's looking really good out here. We made it to camp. Yo! Boy, let's go! Let's we go. We're out here. Uh, we just made it to camp and we are hightailing it because we need to get into the stand. There's already deer out in the fields. Um, it was a long three hour drive, but uh, actually it kind of went pretty quick. It's a little windy right now, but we are excited we're here. Oh yeah. Let's make it happen tonight. What do you have to say to the people? Hey, what's up guys? I just need to tell you guys something. It's about to go down. down. It's feeling deery though. No, for real. We got, shoot, it was like summer, Summertime out here when I got here, about 75 degrees. And now, it's dropping down quick. All right, so we're about to head out for sit number one. Bow in hand with my little sock. Yeah, I don't want to mess up the sight. Honestly, we're just going under the blind like this. No camo, no time. We got to get it done, so it's starting to get pretty quiet. And I think these bucks are going to get moving here in the next hour or two, so. Fingers crossed, let's go. 
Hey, so we got a Fred Flintstone it tonight. <laughs> Back two batteries are dead, so charge them up tonight. We'll be good for tomorrow morning, bright and early. But um, stay tuned for an update because once we get to the stand, we'll give a little update, see what we're seeing. We'll see if we can uh, hit the tag team duo tonight and do what we did last year, tag out, so then we can sleep. That'd be nice. We're already forgetting things. Josh forgot the key. Vroom, vroom, no. I'm in <laughs> Did a P90X workout. We really made it about 100 yards. So, hey, yo, watch the language. This is about to be on YouTube. All right, so we made it into the blind, and it is a wasp graveyard. So, it's all good. They're all dead now. Um, but we just got into the blind. <clears throat> the wind's whipping pretty good. We jumped up a pretty nice buck walking in. This camera's about to die, so I'm probably gonna switch to the other one here. We just got into the stand about an hour ago, but I just wanna say the rut is in full swing here in Missouri. Me and Josh picked up a deer when we walked in. I had not closed the blind door for 45 seconds, and there was a shooting buck standing right behind me. He was standing exactly where the buck that I killed last year was, and he was on lockdown with his doe. He wanted nothing to do with my grunt, and he just popped over the, the CRP here and, you know, went and did his thing with, with the doe, but things are heating up here. Even though the temperature's cooling off, activities heating up and you know me and Josh will have the bows in our hands tonight and tomorrow before the guns come out on Saturday so regardless it is a beautiful evening tomorrow it's gonna cool off about 15 more degrees and these bucks are gonna be up on their feet chasing so fingers crossed that we make it happen let's go so what's crazy is tonight was wild I saw a lot of bucks nah not a lot I saw three and they were just out of bow range. One, Josh would be proud that I passed on. Um, but now it's time to get some good food. <laughs> no, I just need to move, bro. <laughs> this dude's a scammer. He was about to scam everybody to think he was injured. Right and dirty, baby. It's crazy. Hey, we're making a Wally World run here. Right, get all the food for camp. And um, tonight was no processed foods. No processed foods. Strictly organic. Here, here we go. Frozen pizza. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> processed. Processed foods is the best food. But uh, no, tomorrow's gonna be a good day. It's raining right now. We've seen a lot of deer even when we walked out of the property, and I think it's gonna be a great day tomorrow. And I think we're gonna see some more deer chasing. I saw a shooter buck as soon as I got into the stand. Pretty insane. And um, another nice buck right at the end there chasing some does, so couldn't couldn't get it done today, but tomorrow's another day. Let's go. I took the walk to Poland. Bro, did you take the walk to Poland? I'm not familiar with that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, check out this cart though. Boy, we loaded down. And this is only gonna last us three days. <laughs> All right, day one is in the books. It is currently sleeting. Crazy wind outside. The cold front has officially got here. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. Josh is still figuring out his life. Uh, always, Russ. I'm ready to go to sleep. End of day one, we saw seven deer tonight. We made our Walmart run, we made a T-Bell run, and uh, we're just here for a good time. So tomorrow, bright and early, five hours of sleep, back at the grind. Let's go.